Boy, am I stuffed. I must have sampled food from over 10 caterers. Did you find one for the banquet? Not yet. Oh, but I did learn that baked Alaska can actually be cooked locally. <laughs> Rose, I have an even bigger scoop for you. Mars bars are made right here on Earth. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rose. Oh, this is a great Valentine's weekend. Stuck in a hotel at a nudist camp for 10 hours. I'm sorry, Dorothy. It's all my fault. I misunderstood the brochure. Fun in the buff at a mountain retreat. Hike, swim, and play volleyball while the sun beats down on your fanny. <laughs> Call David Horowitz. I mean, how can they get away with this misrepresentation? They are tearing down the most important building in Blanche Devereaux's family history. Oh, my God, they're tearing down Mattress World. <laughs> I remember when Grandma was in a wheelchair, she was on the go from morning till night. But she always had time to talk to her grandchildren. Gee, if I close my eyes, I can, I can hear her saying, come on, you snot-nosed little rug rats. Pick up those jacks, they're puncturing holes in my tires. Whatever happened to her? She colonized life on Venus. Oh, I'm so nervous. Have you ever given a eulogy? You mean at a funeral? <laughs> no, Rose, at a pie-eating contest. Since Emily's parents left her in our care, we do have two options. We can either wait for the Children's Protective Services to contact us, which should take about 48 hours, or we can take her in. Take her in? Where? Around the inseam, Rose. <laughs> this is amazing. This is so amazing to think I'm giving a press conference and next week we all go to Moscow. Yeah. Can you believe it, Dorothy? No, but then again, I can't believe that God wanted Jerry Falwell to go down that water slide in a cheap suit. <laughs> oh, Dorothy. You cannot possibly begin to comprehend the terrible trauma a gorgeous woman goes through when she realizes her beauty is starting to fade. And who do you see when you look at me, Blanche? Joe Pepitone? <laughs> I single-handedly ruined a man's life today. Which hand? This hand. For your information, I'm upset because I had a date and he called and canceled. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Was it anybody special? Well, that's not the point. He might have taken me someplace where I'd meet someone who is. Well, you know, it's amazing. Beneath that thin veneer of superficiality, somehow, miraculously, there is another, even thinner veneer. The consumer show asked me to test these chemically treated lenses. The theory is they don't fog up when you come in from the cold. Excuse me. Rose, leave the glasses in the refrigerator, close the door, and keep your head out here with us. How will I know if they fog up? The little man who lives in there who turns the light on and off, he'll tell you. I'm not in the mood for jokes, especially about the little man. You know he scares me. Actually, I tend to fall between sizes myself. Usually, I'm smack dab between a four... And a 16. <laughs> Mrs. Lindstrom, how would you like a little tour of our home while Rose is fixing that snack? Oh, I don't think this is a good time for that. Blanche, Mother's had a big day, and I don't want her to get overtired. Well, she can skip the east wing, Rose. <laughs> we had a pig once. Uh, all the male pigs loved her. Oh, she was very beautiful. And she got pregnant, and we never knew who the father was. <laughs> oh, my God, Rose, what did you do on Father's Day? <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm taking my bee pollen and my sheep's liver extract and my fish oil protein. I'm getting younger with each passing day. Great, great. When they defrost Walt Disney, he'll have someone to go out with. <laughs> well, we are going away for a romantic weekend to the Bahamas with Jeff and Rich and Randy. In this day and age, it might be a good idea to take along some protection. What kind of protection? <laughs> Two armed Pinkerton guards. Buddy, would you like to stay for dinner? I'm making sweet and sour smelt kebabs. Smelt kebabs? Oh, darn. I had them for lunch. They caught Gil Kessler having an affair. Oh, you're kidding. With whom? Well, they don't know her name, but look. They hid in the bushes and took this picture of her from behind going into his house. I don't believe it. Wait a minute. That looks like Blanche's red dress. Those look like Blanche's red shoes. And aren't they her diamond earrings and gold bracelet? That little floozy stole Blanche's clothes. <laughs> it's like having Agatha Christie right here in our kitchen. 